Welcome to the IT free training video on Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services. This video will give you an introduction to how Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services works, the features it supports, and how you can best use it in your organization. Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services, otherwise known as ADLDS, is software created by Microsoft that allows an independent directory service to run alongside your existing domain-based directory service. Before Windows Server 2008, ADLDS was an add-on for Windows called ADAM, which is short for Active Directory Application Mode. With Windows Server 2008, ADLDS was integrated into the operating system as another role. To understand how the role works, Consider the code that is used for directory services. This code is also used by Active Directory domain services. This code is used by domain controllers to provide domain services like authenticating users, storing objects in the Active Directory database, and replicating the database. To understand what Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services is, first understand that Lightweight Directory Services uses the same code as Active Directory domain services. So effectively, Lightweight Directory Services provides a lot of the same functionality as Domain Services. Before I look at the differences between the two, I will first look at why you would use Lightweight Directory Services. Let's say that you have a web server that you placed on your perimeter network. This web server runs an application that you want roaming users on the internet to have access to. You want to use single sign-on so the users will not be prompted for a username and password when accessing the web server. In other words, the username and passwords that the user uses to access the domain should also be used for the web server. The easiest way to achieve this would be to make the web server a domain controller. However, making the server a domain controller, even if you use a read-only domain controller, does present a security risk if the perimeter network were to be compromised by a hacker. To get around this problem, you instead install the domain controller on the internal company network and install lightweight directory services on the web server. The domain controller can then replicate user account information to the web server for use with lightweight directory services. Notice that other information in Active Directory does not need to be replicated. This helps to keep the rest of the data in Active Directory safe from attack. Notice also that additional data like application data can be added to Lightweight Directory Services. So you can start to see how Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services can be used. Since Active Directory Lightweight Services uses the same code base as Active Directory Domain Services, the web server can now perform user authentication and be expanded to have access to additional information that is not stored in Active Directory. You can see how Lightweight Directory Services can be used with your existing domain services to add additional functionality and increase security. But there are some differences between the two, and this will affect your decision where to use them. The first big difference between the two is that Active Directory Lightweight Services supports multiple instances. With Active Directory Domain Services, you can run only one instance per domain controller. This effectively means that one domain controller can hold one Active Directory domain. This makes Lightweight Services a great choice if you have multiple applications which each require a separate directory service. This also means that you can remove and add instances as the application requires. You are still limited to one schema per instance. However, being able to create as many instances as you want allows you to work around that limitation. The next difference is that Active Directory Lightweight Services can be run on a client operating system. Domain services, on the other hand, require Windows Server. The next difference is that Lightweight Services does not require DNS. One of the fundamental ideas behind Lightweight Domain Services is that the application and the directory service can be installed on the same computer. By having them on the same computer, there is no delay for the application accessing data on the directory service. In other words, Lightweight Directory Services is completely standalone and does not require any additional service to operate. After seeing all the advantages, 
you may consider this as a replacement for Active Directory domain services. The fact, however, is Active Directory lightweight domain services only provides a subset of the functionality that you would get with a domain controller. The most noticeable missing features are no group policy support and no global catalog support. This reduces where and how it can be used. However, there are advantages like being able to run multiple instances that make it a good choice in some circumstances. The next most noticeable missing feature is that it does not have the ability to manage workstations and servers. You cannot create a domain and add workstations using lightweight directory services. This also means that you do not need to install Active Directory lightweight services on a computer that is part of a domain. You can install it on a workgroup computer, making it a good choice for computers that are directly connected to the Internet. Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services does, however, support sites and replication, just like Active Directory Domain Services. You can, for example, have multiple Lightweight Directory Service installs at different locations, replicating changes to each other. This makes it a multi-master replication model like Active Directory Domain Services, but since there is no domain support, trusts are also not supported. You can start to see that Lightweight Directory Services is aimed more at providing application support and can be used to improve security. It is not designed to be a replacement for domains. In the previous example, I talked about storing data in Lightweight Directory Services for use with a web server. The question you may ask yourself, could this data have been stored using another product, for example, SQL Server? The choice between a directory service and a product like a database comes down to your needs. Shown here is the core difference between directory services like Active Directory Domain Services or Active Directory Lightweight Services and a database service like SQL Server. First, directory services is hierarchical in design like the files and folders on your hard disk. Using it, you can place objects in folders. A database, in comparison, is designed based on rows and columns, like the rows and columns found in Excel. Because the database is organized differently, this affects how security is applied. Security is applied in a directory service based on the object. In a database, security is applied to the row or column. The next difference is that a directory service is based on a schema. If you want to add additional object types to the directory service, you need to make changes to the schema. A database, on the other hand, does not require a schema. For this reason, if you make changes to a database, these changes can be removed later. Changes to the schema, on the other hand, are not able to be deleted later on if it is decided that they are no longer required. The next difference is that directory services generally have fast read and search performance. Essentially, this is because they are optimized for lookups, which you would expect in a directory service. Databases, on the other hand, are optimized for fast writes. The question you may ask yourself before deciding which to use, is your data mainly static and requiring a lot of search? If this is the case, a directory service may be more appropriate. Otherwise, if the data does change a lot, a database may be a better choice. The last point to consider is that databases will lock a record when it is updated to prevent multiple people attempting to write to it at the same time. A directory service, on the other hand, allows multiple updates to be performed at the same time. If the directory service is in multiple locations, multiple updates may happen at the same time. When changes are synchronized together, the directory service will use the most recent change and discard all other changes. For this reason, directory services are useful for applications like staff directories. If your application does not allow multiple changes to be made at the same time, for example, you are using a banking application, a database is a better choice than a directory service. To understand better how lightweight directory services works, I will go through some examples of where it may be used. One of the major reasons to use Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services is to support applications that require schema changes. If you have an existing domain, 
the domain has one schema that is used by the domain and all the other domains in that forest. If you want to use an application that requires a schema change, you would need to modify the schema which would have an effect on all domains in the forest. This can overly complicate your environment, increase the time replication takes to occur, and schema changes are not reversible. To get around this problem, Active Directory Lightweight Directory services can be used. When an instance is created on the Lightweight Directory surface, this instance has its own independent schema. If you want to deploy another application later on that requires schema changes, and you want to keep this application separate from the other, you simply need to create another instance. You can see that if later on you decide to remove the application from the network, all that needs to happen is the instance with those schema changes be removed and with it the schema changes are also removed. You can see that by using Active Directory Lightweight Directory services, you can add support for applications that require schema changes without those schema changes affecting your network indefinitely. The next advantage is that you can install Active Directory Lightweight services on the same computer as the application. This means the application can access the data directly rather than having to travel over the network to access this information. This can greatly improve the speed of the application and also means that you do not need to install the application on a domain controller to improve access time to a directory service. Installing additional software and applications on a domain controller is not recommended when it can be avoided. The next use for lightweight directory services is to provide authentication and security. I have already looked at how you can use it for authentication on a perimeter or DMZ network. However, in this example, you could also use it on a secure network. In this case, you have a directory service application that contains confidential data that is on a secure network. By using Active Directory Lightweight Directory services, this data could be made available to users on that network using their existing Windows login. However, since the data is only on the one server on the secure network and is not stored on any domain controller, it is safe for external access assuming the firewall between the networks is configured correctly. The last example that I will look at is Active Directory Lightweight Services can be installed on client operating systems like Windows Vista, 7, and 8. This makes it a good choice for developers. This allows the developer to have their own private directory services which they can experiment with and make changes on. The advantage of this is that they only require local administrator rights. In order to make changes to the schema and data using Active Directory domain services, the user would be required to be a member of Enterprise Administrator and the Schema Admin Groups. This is a lot of access and something that most administrators would not want to give to a developer. There has been a lot covered in this video. So I will now go through a quick summary of Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services. Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services uses the same code base as Active Directory Domain Services. For this reason, a lot of the same features are available in Lightweight Services that are available with Domain Services. This includes the ability to create sites and replicate data using multi-master replication just like Domain Services provides. There are some features missing in Lightweight Directory Services, like the Global Catalog Server and Group Policy. This does not make it a replacement for Directory Services, but rather to add additional features and security. You should consider Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services as just another application, and essentially that is what it is. For this reason, you do not require a server to run it on and thus it can be run on client operating systems like Windows 7 and Windows 8. Since it really is only just another application running on the system, it does not require additional resources like domain services would. For example, DNS. Some of the big reasons why you would use Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services is for deploying applications to the domain. 
This can be done without modification to the schema in your forest. This allows you to remove the application later on by simply removing the install of lightweight directory services. If you installed the application using Active Directory domain services, you would be stuck with the schema changes and they cannot be removed. Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services also only requires local administrator access to the computer that it is running on. This allows you to give the developer or application complete control over the install without having to risk changes being made to your production environment. You can start to see how Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services can be used in your organization. Well, I hope you have found this video informative. In the next video, I will look at how to install Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.